In Chapter 4, you learn to organize photographs using Bridge. I'm going to start with the folder that I want to use from my desktop. I'm going to drag that straight to the Bridge icon in my dock. Now when I do that, I essentially force Bridge to open the folder that I want to work with. This is not something you have to do, but sometimes it's easier than using Bridge to navigate to your folders, which of course you can do as well. Once in Bridge, I'm in Essentials mode. Um, I can zoom in uh, or zoom out on my folder of items. You can see I have 12 items here. I can press Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all. I can press the Command key and click once on the images that I would like to deselect. Um, again, if I were on a PC, I would use the Control key here. Uh, make sure I'm only pressing once, not twice. Um, and this will allow me to open uh, or work with every other image, sort of what I selected. You could just uh, do that to select whichever images you want to work with. You could also start from zero and just click once on each image you want to work with and hold the command key. So I'm just pressing command as I click one time on the images that I want to work with. Okay, what I want to do is um, get into the batch rename and then I also want to show you how to rate your images um, using the star label. So the first thing I'll do is under tools I'll choose batch rename. I'm going to rename my files because right now I have a pretty long name assigned to them. So under tools batch rename I will look in the batch rename dialog box and things can get a little bit tricky in here especially if you're new to Bridge. So I pretty much always rename in the same folder but if you're brand new and you're really worried about messing something up, you could always copy to another folder. So if you wanted to, you could do that. I'm going to stay in my same folder. I'm just going to rename in the same folder. Um, and here is the best kind of hint is down here where it says preview. So I can see what my current file name looks like. And then I can see what the new file name would look like according to whatever I do in the new file name dialog area. So I'm going to say for my new file name, I'm going to start with text and I'll, I'll put my name and then I'll add another field and um, maybe I'll add a sequence number. Uh, I'll start with the number one and perhaps I'll just do two digits. If I would do more than uh, 99 images, I would maybe choose three digits. Um, and if I wanted to, I could continue to add you know, as many fields as I like. So basically it's just going to, you know, have my name and then this and then whatever else. So I could keep going. I could say a date and a time or I could add more text and I could say, you know, these are my modifications, whatever. Now you can see what, what your new file name would look like. So if I wanted this to be my name dash 01 dash mods, I would modify what's going on here. Uh, sorry, rather here. And if I decided I just need to have my name and a number and I don't need that last part, I could click the minus sign over here to remove that last part. So as you're building your name or your naming convention, watch what's going on in the preview area and then you can, you know, modify the boxes and use the plus and minus sign here to make those changes. So I can say that see that six files will be processed. Um, this is literally going to rename the files in my folder from this convention to my new file name. So um, if you're ever you know, worried that you might be um, renaming something and you need to know what the first name was, probably not a good idea to do it in the same folder. Um, in my case, this is just for show, so I don't mind. Go ahead and press rename. When I do, you'll see in Bridge, my, new, my files with the new names are down here and my originals are up here because alphabetically Xdeen is going to come after the numbers. Um, and I could look back in my folder and I'll see in my folder that now I have my my new file names. The last thing that I wanted to demonstrate is using a rating process. So let's say you're looking through your images and you basically just want to note for yourself that this is your favorite image for instance. You can go under the label menu 
and give it a one through five star rating. So I might say this is my five star image. Maybe I like this one second best, so I'm going to label this with my four star. You can also see, you know, maybe this is my least favorite. I'll press Command 1. So you can see that the um, key commands are Command 1, Command 2, Command 3, Command 4, Command 5. Um, maybe you say all three of these are three stars. I'll press Command 3. So if you have a star rating, you know, it's kind of easy to look and see which ones did you select or which ones did you think were best or worst. Um, but you could also use your filter menu and show just the five star ratings by clicking once on the five star uh, part of the filter. So you can filter what you're seeing um, based on those ratings. Now, this does not this does not delete files. This is just filtering what is showing up here. It doesn't mean that those images are not still, of course, in my folder. And if I press no rating, uh, actually, if I go ahead and click all of them, I will I will see all of my images back again.